Okay, now what we're going to have a look at today is we're going to talk about coming from lineal metres into square metres and the area of a triangle and how they work together. So we start off, we have to look at this. Um, we have a square and we say it's a thousand and a, th a thousand, a thousand and a thousand. Okay, so one square metre, this equals one SQM, one square metre. Now, if I put boards on that, and we count them up, one, two, three, four, five. So the boards are a metre long, and there's five of them cover the one square metre, which means that each board is about 200 millimetres across. So five lineal metres equals one square metre. So if I was to put that out, let's make it, see if I can make it a little bit clearer. I come across here and I go one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. So five meters, each one of these. So this one becomes this one, this one becomes this one, this, this one, this, this one, and finally this one. Okay, so my five square meters, if I put them end to end, become five lineal meters okay really important to know uh, let's, let's get rid of that for the minute that gives a bit more room okay now the next part we start off with is a triangle and our triangle is three thousand six hundred and thirty two and it's 2,415. And we need to work out the area of the triangle. We look at the first thing. So to work out the area of the triangle, we go 3,632 times 2,415. And that equals, well, we'll have to work that out, but we're looking at, that's going to be that. It's going to, we're going length by width, so we're working out the whole lot. So let's get the phone out. The most useful thing that you have. Get to the calculator, which you should be using all the time. Now. With the calculator now, I always hit clear. Always. So there's nothing stored in there. So here we go. I need to work in square metres. So instead of it being 3,632, I'm going to now go 3.632 by 2.415 because I want the answer in square metres, not millimetres. Now, I'll get my calculator, which is the most useful tool that we have. We should be having this in our out all the time and making the most of it. If you've got spare time, use it. Find out, discover it. 3.632 times 2.415 equals... 8.77128 but that's the whole and we only want half of it so we divide it by 2 equals so divided 2 equals 4.38 square meters get rid of that just to be clearer 4.83 4.38 S Q M square meters. Okay. Now 
we need to find out how many lineal meters go into it. So it's simple. We worked out that there's five lineal meters for each square meter. So we go 4.38 multiplied by 5. So just times 5 equals 21.9. So 22 lineal meters of board, which will cover that triangle. In, re in the real world, if we were doing that as a carpenter, we'd allow more for cuttage and waste and, and, you know, working different bits and pieces. But approximately 22 lineal metres will cover that if the boards are, as we decided, 200 metres across, and that which means that five of them cover one square metre. Okay, that concludes the lesson. Cheers.